In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at how we can search for and find items in a JavaScript array. The ability to find items in an array is a very common programming task, and being able to do so in JavaScript is extremely helpful. So we're going to create a little array of colors here. We'll say red, and then blue, and we'll say green, and then we'll add black, and then we'll go ahead and add blue again. And then finally, we'll end with yellow. So we have an array here of colors. We have one of the colors repeated twice. We have blue repeated twice. And what we want to do is I'm first going to just output this array to the console just so we can kind of see the contents of it, um, make sure all is working well. So we've got our list of, list of arrays, or we have our array here with our list of colors. And so what I want to do is I want to take a look at this and say, how can I find the first instance or, or index of blue? And how can I find the last index of blue? So there's actually two functions that are provided to do this. One of them is called color, or it's called index of, and we can access it off of the colors array. And so I can pass in the value of blue here, and I'm simply going to say var index, and this will get me the index or the first index of the color blue. And so I'll say console.log index and we'll just comment out this console dir we don't need that and so we'll run this code and we're going to see that the very first index for blue is one now let's say i wanted to find the last index of the color blue then i can use last index of and it will start at the end of the array and work its way back and actually find the last index of the color blue and in this case we see that the last index is four now, what if I had put in a value that is actually not in our array, like pink? What would be the value of index then? If we reload this, we'll see that it's negative one. So with the index of function or the last index of function, if your value is not found in the array, then you'll come back with a negative one. Otherwise, it will come back with the actual index value. Okay, so, the next question is, this is an easy search to do for, uh, for scalar values like uh, a number or a string, but what about objects? So what if I created an object here called, um, called blue, and it's going to have a color of blue, all right? And then I come in here and I'm actually going to set up each of these elements to be an object with a property called color. Just like this. Now, what if I wanted to search for blue again? So I'm going to take my blue object here and it has the color blue, and I'm going to see if it can find the first index of blue in the array. So I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to come back and reload my page and look at my result. I get a negative one. Well, that's kind of odd. I have an object here with color blue, and there is an object with color blue in the array, what's going on here? Index of and last index of will search by value for things like strings and numbers, but for objects, it searches by reference. So even though these two objects look similar to us and their, their color property both are blue, they are actually two different objects. And so when it does the search by reference, it doesn't find them. So instead, if I take my blue here, and I actually paste it in here, we'll find now that when I do the search, it's going to search it by the, by the value of the reference. And now I reload it, and it has an index of 1. And I can do the same thing with last index of. I can put my blue object there. I can say last index of blue. And then I can reload this, and you'll see that it has a value of 4. So index of and last index of will do search by value for things like numbers and strings. And then for objects, it searches by reference.